Hi, you guys. I am the Runway Travelista, you guys, and we are back with part three, you guys, of uh, the passion. We're calling this one um, the role of passion and perseverance, okay? And um, the, how it, well, the, no, we're calling it the reward of perseverance, okay? Success and personal growth, okay? So, you guys, we stopped at uh, we were at number three, the power of consistency. And we talk about this over and over. We know consistency is telling us right here, persistence, per perseverance goes hand in hand with consistency. Okay. So basically pers persevering means that we're going to continuously, uh, do, uh, consistently consistency means that we're going to just keep on the path. Okay. We're going to keep you, we're, we're going to keep go doing that thing. Okay. We're not going to stop and we're not going to give up. We're going to be consistent. Okay. And we're going to persevere with it. Okay. So it says success rarely comes overnight. Okay. How many of us know that? And the process of achieving big goals requires sustained effort over time. How many of us are there? Okay. I'm one of those that is there right now, you guys. And because I, like I said, anything that I feel like that you're going after, and it's especially if it's something that you really striving for and you really want to be good and be great at, you're going to, you're going to deal with person, have to person, have to having to persevere and be consistent. Okay. It's just no way around it. Okay. That's something that I'm learning for myself. And it's a skill set that um, I thought that I had it together, but obviously when challenges came up, I got to see, and that's where we can evaluate ourselves and where we are. And that's why we are, that, that's why I feel like it's very good to, um, just give into inventory on where we are. Okay. I'm always challenging myself to be better. Okay. I don't want to, I want to grow personally. Okay. And, and it's very important to me to, I don't want to be an angry person. I don't want to be a, a, a unhealed person. I want to be the best version of myself. Okay. And it's not even about anybody else. It's not looking good for anybody else. These are things that I want for myself. I want to be the best person that I can be. And I want to show up in the world as the best version of myself. Okay. And that's what personal growth does. Okay. And so if that's you, then that's, we're talking about it. Okay. So it says, it's not just about showing up on the days when things are easy. Okay. Because it's not always easy. I, you, it's not always easy. Okay. So I'm talking to myself right now. What with the blueprint, this is talking to me too. It's not always easy, but I still have to show up you guys. And, and that's something that I'm learning. And I know, and, 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 and when I say show up, not just show up and just be like, Oh, I, I'm just, I got to do that. But having the right attitude about myself showing up, okay? Showing up in my birth, even when I'm having challenges or going through things, showing up as the best version of myself, okay? All right, knowing that it's a greater purpose for me, okay? And and, and then I can still be grateful and, and, and know that, hey, I may, I'm, I'm, I'm on the right path, okay? So it says consistency compounds over time, just like interest in a bank account. The small daily actions we take may not seem like much in the moment, okay? But they accumulate in significant progress, okay? And that's what it's all about. It's progressing, okay? And that's what I that's what personal growth means to me, you guys, is that I just want to continuously be progressing, okay? Even if it's small steps, small uh victories. I want to be progressing. I do not want to be regressing. Okay. And regressing means turning back. Okay. And, and just, or, or just staying stagnant. I want to continuously be moving forward. This is where many people falter. And, and this is not me saying it. This is the blueprint. Okay. <laughs> it says they give up too soon. Okay. Not realizing how close we are to our breakthrough. Okay. And this girl, I ain't even going to keep talking about that, you guys, but I know that in my life, um, because I do uh, feel like, you know, I like taking on challenges. I feel like I'm always presented with them and sometimes I don't want to be, <laughs> but, um, but I know that, um, that it is 
it's, it's helping me and it's shaping me to be even, even a better person. Okay. And to be more resilient. Okay. And to be able to do whatever, what I'm trying to step into now, the role I'm trying to play in life and what I'm trying to go after. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need these skills. Okay. So I, I just have to, you know, just take it and, and keep moving. Okay. So it says perseverance in the face of failure. Failure is often seen as negative experience. And I like to say, I don't like to use failure. I like to use falling short, okay? Uh, it, it is a negative experience, but in reality, it, it really is. It's, it says failure is one of the most pow powerful teachers on the path to way to success. And I do believe that because how many of us know if we wouldn't have got to fall, if we wouldn't have failed short, if we wouldn't have bumped our heads, okay, we, we wouldn't make those strides, okay? We wouldn't be making those strides to improve, okay? And to see and reflect on where we've been, okay? So I like to look at my fall my falling shorts as uh opportunities okay to continue to grow and to kind of like I said reflect and see where I am and where and where I've come from and then that gives me um that gives me a, a good feeling because then I know that okay I made it through that and I can make it through the next thing do I have to fuss and fight still sometimes yeah, I do, but that's okay. I'm going to still make it through. And that's what we call falling short. But we're going to, uh, but I'm learning to just still, even in that time, to try to my best to stay in character. Okay. So it says perseverance allows to reframe our failure. Okay. It says here, failure forces us to reevaluate our approach. Okay. And we just talked about that. Uh, make adjustments and try again with more knowledge and experience. Okay. So that's what that does. In this way, perseverance transforms failure into a tool for growth. Okay. And that's what we're talking about. Personal growth. Okay. And we know that we have the tools um, that you beat just from our past lessons and experience. We have the tools to get through any obstacle. Okay. And transform with the power of perseverance. Okay. You guys, so number five, it says maintaining focus on long-term goals. Okay. This is when it gets to be a long haul, when you got long, when it, when it seemed like it's going a long time. Okay. In a world where we're often tempted by quick fixes, and we talked about that quick fixes where we always want to do things to kind of, you know, speed up the process or hurry it through. How many know in life that's not the way it works? Okay, it's not gonna work that. And I feel like the more because this is the this girl loves to fix it. Okay, I I call myself the fix it lady. Okay, <laughs> and 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 it don't always work. It it's not that's not how it's happening. Sometimes I just gotta kind of let go. Okay, and like I said, get the lesson out of it and then continue to move forward. So it says success doesn't happen in a single mo moment. It's the result of sustained effort over time. Okay. Perseverance keeps us focused on the bigger picture. Okay. So at the end of the day, okay, what is our bigger picture? It's our why, why we do the things we do, why we're, why we want to get, uh, to, uh, grow and, uh, succeed, why we have our goals. Okay. Why we want to, um, uh, succeed in our personal growth and um, persevere, okay, and transform, okay. That's that's something we can look at. What what's our why, okay? So even when short term results are disappointing or or uncertain, okay, because again we know in life short term result results, okay. When I try to fix it myself, it doesn't fix it, and that's what I we were just talking about before we came to this part is that short term trying to fix it myself it it, it you know it, it it may put a band-aid on it but it's not fixing the problem okay so at the end of the day i i want to get whatever lesson it is in each step each stage okay so i can continue to move on okay from that part and continue to move on to greater okay so it says the, this long-term focus is critical in both personal and professional endeavors, okay? Whether we're building a business, pursuing an education, or working towards a personal goal, perseverance helps us stay committed, okay? Even when progress is slow, okay? Because how many of us know sometimes it's slow, okay? 
It reminds us that meaningful success takes time and effort and that the journey is just as important as the destination. Okay, you guys, we're going to stop here. And it looks like we're going a little bit longer on this perseverance thing. And that's probably what it is. We're going longer because it is persevering. Okay, so we're going to go with a part four, you guys. And then that should be it for this um, great topic. Okay, stay tuned for part four.